Eu quebrei a chana, quebrei. Eu quebrei a chana, 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 quebrei a Christian TikTok. For those of you who are unaware, there is a movement on TikTok called Christian TikTok. And if you are a Christian and you are watching this video, you understand what I'm talking about. Essentially, it's the genre of Christians making TikTok, thus it's called Christian TikTok. But like all good things, there are also bad things. There is this realm of unaccountability where you have these self-proclaimed Christians making videos like in the clips that you just saw of just speaking gibberish. You have people who are these false prophets giving you prophecies where you have to sell them a seed by giving them $50 and then they will tell you who you're going to marry in the next year. We have to remember, we are given warnings as it says in the Bible. Acts 20, 28 through 30 says, Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he brought by his own blood. I know that after I leave, savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock. Even from your own number, men will arise and distort the truth in order to draw away disciples after them. So let's go ahead and analyze this Christian TikTok user. And I don't want to necessarily isolate him completely because I still think we need to show grace and we need to pray for people like this among Christian TikTok. But nonetheless, we have Bible passages and verses and warnings for Christians who start blabbering away and then start reading their own comment section, walking away again and making it seem like they are so holy. And again, I am not proclaiming to be the best Christian ever. We are all sinners. Nonetheless, we are given warnings for Christians like this. Now, I am highly aware that among Christianity, we do have people who agree with speaking in tongues, other people who are highly against speaking in tongues, but nonetheless, we can actually use scriptures, the Bible, to justify what is correct and not correct in situations like this, where a random man is babbling in the park, and you don't know what to do in this situation. If any speak in a tongue, let there be only two, or at most three, and each in turn, and let someone interpret. Now I'm going to go ahead and play this clip again, and this is not me bashing or hating on this man. This is me using scriptures to back the fact of we need to be able to interpret what this man is saying. So let me go ahead and play this clip again, and you let me know, maybe in a comment, maybe I'm missing something. Are you able to interpret this man? Now what's even more important about being able to interpret this angelic language, especially doing it in the presence of over 300 people, is that the Bible even states, your language is dead to me if I don't know what you're saying. Let's actually go straight to the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 14, 10 through 11, there are, it may be, so many kinds of languages in the world, and none of them is without significance. So even the Bible is saying the language that you speak is significant. How powerful is that? Verse 11, therefore, if I do not know the meaning of the language, I shall be a foreigner to him who speaks, and he who speaks will be a foreigner to me. So even in angelic language, and even within regular language between me and you, the Bible is clear and understands the importance of being able to understand one another. Because if I start speaking another language like Romanian, and you guys all understand English, there's no significance to this video. There's no value to what I'm saying, and vice versa. So understand this, I'm making this video to give you the tools to understand what the foundations and what the standards are the Bible provides you for those who speak tongues. In the case of that man who is blabbering in open public, is he being edifying? Do any of you know what he's saying? Because again, the point of speaking in tongues in a public manner is to glorify God, is to promote the church, to show everybody how angelic God is and profess it to the world. That is why we need an interpreter and that is why the Bible is strict and specific as to why we 
we need an interpreter, specifically in tongues, and especially also in regular language. Now, the reason why I'm sort of picking on Christian TikTok is because this is a land of unaccountability. This is the land where anyone who quote unquote professes to be a Christian, the amount of taps and likes you get, the amount of followers you get, the application will push you through the algorithm and boost whatever you're trying to sell or whatever you're trying to promote. Especially in the case of this particular TikToker, when you go on his page, it's not actually him talking, it's other people sharing their spiritual gifts or their spiritual encounters, which is fine and dandy if there are proper cases that are backed by the Bible. But nonetheless, please beware and understand we have tools and we are equipped as Christians within the Bible to beware and to watch out for Christians who will stand in the middle of a park and start blabbering away. So we need to make sure we're not being too judgmental because we are all sinners, but we also need to understand we do need to call this out and we do need to back our fellow Christians with the proper tools and understanding that speaking in tongues is not necessarily wrong. It's clearly in the Bible, but this specific example of speaking in tongues is just not backed by the Bible. I'm sorry. Nonetheless, that's the video. Again, go out and pray for your enemy, love your enemy, and look out for TikTokers like this because it's everywhere among Christians. Christian TikTok. And if you are somebody who's not a Christian and you're watching this, we are not all defined by individuals who blabber away and we don't know what they're saying. That is why I'm making this video to provide you the evidence that as Christians, we actually do have biblical backing as to what is the proper way to speak in tongues and to be able to interpret one another in angelic language and regular language.